To help us learn about baptism today, we're going to start out by learning about something called deductive reasoning. Oh, that sounds pretty impressive, doesn't it? But it's not so hard. It, what that means is if, if this is true and this is true, then this must be true. Right? A couple of examples. Let's just say that being in school is always fun. And if I'm in school, therefore I must be having fun. Very good. See, that's how it works. Make it a little harder. Some of you upperclassmen there will know this. If, okay, if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A must be equal to C. Very good. Smart group here. Smart group. Now let's... Let's apply that kind of thinking to two Bible passages. Here's the first one. This is good and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So here's our first statement. God desires everyone to be saved, doesn't he? Okay, here's our next passage. Baptism, which corresponds to this, now saves you. Not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So here's our second statement that says, Baptism saves you. So if God wants all people to be saved, and baptism saves, then God must want all people to be baptized. Very good. God wants everyone to be saved. Baptism saves. God must want everybody to be baptized. And that's really true. God wants everyone to know him. He wants to make everybody his special child through holy baptism. And you know what that does? The thing we want to learn today is that that gives value to every human being, doesn't it? Because every human being is either someone God has baptized and called to be his special child, or it's someone he wants to call and be his special child. So it, it doesn't matter whether you're one of the oldest kids here or the youngest kids here. God loves you and has either called you in baptism or wants to. See? And it doesn't matter whether you're a kid or, or an adult. It doesn't matter whether you're a young adult or, or an adult that's, that's wiser. <laughs> <laughs> And it doesn't matter if you're a pastor or a teacher. You see, everybody is someone God's love and has called in baptism or it's someone he loves and wants to call into baptism. But what about, I mean, little bitty babies? Do they have value because of that? Well, sure. Because it doesn't matter. God loves them. And wants them to be baptized, right? What about babies who aren't born yet? I, I brought some of those along. Just to remind us that, you know, before we were born, there was a time when we were only this big. See? And did God love us when we were this big? Yeah. And did he want us to come to the washing of holy baptism and save us? Yes. So we had value because of that even when we were this big, right? Absolutely. Of course, we weren't always that big inside of our moms. There, we were only this big at one time inside of our mom. And you know, when you were this big, you could really move around pretty well. You did somersaults. <laughs> and you could swim. You did the backstroke a lot. Yeah. But did God love us when we were this big and want us to come to the washing of holy baptism to save us? Yes. yes. Of course, you weren't always that big. There was a time when you were just this big when you were inside your mom. See? 
only that big. And, and look, I think this little girl is sucking her thumb, don't you? You see that? Yeah. Because you could do that before you were born, you suck her thumb. <laughs> Did God love us and want us to come to baptism when we were this big? Sure. Okay. And then there was a time when you were only this big inside your mom. And, and you know what was special about you when you are only this big? You had all your parts then. You had a brain and a heart and lungs and liver and a pancreas and a stomach. All those parts that you have now, you had them when you are only this big. Except what? They were really, really tiny. tiny. <laughs> yes, they were very, very tiny. But did God love you? And want you to come to the washing of holy baptism to be saved? When Yes, 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 yes. And so that's, that's our whole point here today from this deductive reasoning, you see. God wants everyone to be saved. Baptism saves. So he wants everyone to be baptized. And that gives everyone value. Say it one more time. That's because everyone is either someone that God loves and has called in the waters of holy baptism or it's someone that he loves and wants to call into the waters of holy baptism. That makes each one of you and every human being very, very special.